Here's a closer look at the craft paper covered blank sketchbooks. Comes in a pack of 12. And then it also comes with one of these plastic covers. I feel like that could be useful if you drew on the cover here and didn't want it to get wet or messed up. The only problem is it came the corners a little, a little chewed up. So I don't think I'll be using this. This seems, you know, it's a minor issue. It's kind of unnecessary. I don't think I would have used it anyway, but if you were buying it for this for some reason it's maybe not the best so it goes on and it's a bit too big for the notebook itself you can see that there's a little bit of play it's about that much too big kind of it it overhangs that's maybe not the best but that's not that's not a problem I don't think I'll use those any. I don't think that I don't think I'll use that with it anyway. On the listing, it says the page count is 64 pages, and I wanted to get into that. Um, the book itself is this sort of thicker craft paper cover that you can write on, and then it's stapled with two staples. And this is 16 sheets of paper that they fold down the middle. And so now you have 32, a book with 32 sheets. And the way they're saying it's 64 pages is this is one page, this is two pages, so two pages on one sheet. So it's not 64 sheets, it's 64 pages. And so I wanted to see how well it takes different different mediums. Um, so I went through, did Sharpie, ultra fine Sharpie, felt tip pen, fountain pen, ballpoint pen, typical kind of poster marker. It took the colored pencil really beautifully, really silky. Um, crayon, charcoal, maybe didn't take the charcoal quite as well. Um, it kind of got lost in the pulp of the paper and didn't blend super smoothly. Um, highlighter went fine. The watercolor um, went on okay. The, the water caused the pulp of the paper to kind of come out, and so you can kind of see where it's a little linty from that. When it dried, it didn't dry too too wrinkly. So if you want to use watercolor on it, it's it's okay, but I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't buy it for watercolor. This isn't watercolor paper. It's not optimized for that. If you want to use some, it will work, um, but it's not. It's not, it's not ideal for it. Um, as for bleed through, the listing says that there's no bleed through. Um, the Sharpie does bleed through. Um, it doesn't get onto the next page, thankfully, but if you wanted to use this as page one and this as page two, you're not gonna get a real good page two out of this if you're using Sharpies. Um, the fine point Sharpie came through a little bit as well. The If you're using, say, ballpoint pen or even fountain pen, that didn't seem to come through at all. So if you're using mostly pencils, fountain pens, ballpoint pens, and some colored pencils, this is gonna be absolutely perfect. The paper takes that really nicely. I think that's what it was intended for anyway. So I'm really happy with these. Um, got them for the kids. I think I'll save a couple for me too. But I'm really happy with it.